Okay, we're going to show you my recent visit to the sports therapist. This was originally booked, this session, for an ongoing knee problem, which has really uh, flared up just recently. So I wanted him to investigate that. But just before I went, about a week before, I had uh, quite a serious car accident. Somebody hit me from behind and uh, I got whiplash, which was all the way down my back. It pulled to the point where I couldn't do a lat spread without, when I was practicing my posing without any sort of pain. The car accident aside, I've got an ongoing issue with disc problems at the top of my back between my shoulder blades running through to my neck, which is really uh, 23 years of being a window cleaner, um, doing a lot of stuff overhead, uh, reach and wash, uh, cleaning with, uh, with work and such like. So there's that combined with training with weights since I was 18 that unfortunately, you know, your joints don't go on forever and I have got a, a disc wear problem in, in the upper part of my back. Um, I think everybody, when they get to the stage I'm at in, in their sort of late 40s, been training as long as I have since I was 18 as well, you're going to have lower back problems. You just can't avoid it, I don't think. Uh, so, that you know, there, there's an ongoing thing there, but it didn't help to have the whiplash on top of that, which uh, obviously you're going to have to have some form of treatment to try and speed up the recovery of that. You know, you need to look after your cartilages. It's just something that, you know, as soon as you've torn it, they've taken half the thickness away in an operation. And unfortunately, every now and then, that will get inflamed for me. And uh, it's, it's just an ongoing thing that, that this guy will keep me kind of training really. Is the most important thing is strap it up, yeah. you know, sport it and hack squats. Okay. Because right. do, don't do the front squats, honestly. All right. Please. You yeah, squats, yeah. And you do the same weight. Yeah. Because you can understand the position, the ergonomic position when you're doing it. You're leaning forward and yeah. then the is coming on the lower back. The lower back was slightly swollen. Yeah. So when you start posing again, the lower back V will not be highlighted. You won't yeah. be able to engage your lower back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're far better doing good morning exercise. Yeah. Very, very important. Charm to the side. Stop your head. And arm down again. Head down. What's happened? You've caught the joint here. Yeah. A bit of a strain there. That's where you've locked it. Can you feel? Yeah. yeah. That, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's the passage. Yeah. That's jammed here. Ah. That's not Jesus. Here. So the point is, when you, you take a little bit of a knock, you strain it forward, yeah. you've got a little whiplash, which is fine. But at the end of the day, oh. I'm a bit concerned about the lower part here. Yeah. Okay. Because it's kind of it's kind of pulling down on the side. one side. Right so. Turn around. Hold the bar underarm. Pull yourself up gently and stay there. Just let your body loose. Loose. Lovely. And come down slowly. Back up again, up, pull yourself up, pull your knees to your chest, up, and drop down. Lovely. Up again, up, hold, come down again, and there, and right down again. See what you've done, you've got a bit of swelling in the lower back, you've yeah. strained it. Yeah. It's a bit of puffed, and that's probably because of the heavy squats. That's the heavy squatting. Are you with me? Yeah. And if you look in the mirror, look at that side, look. You can actually see this swelling there. What we do is here, here we go. Now lean back into me. Now here we go. Ah. Ah. Put your arms above your head. Ah. Yeah. Ah. 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 This, by the way, Simon, is called EMS, electronic muscle stimulation. You've probably seen this before. It's uh, electronic not, muscle stimulation. What not, it's doing. Not to the extent that you're doing it. Come it's on. electronically stimulating that muscle. And I can literally pull the muscle back like that and then release it. And then as we stimulate it, we check the joint. He's obviously whiplashed it. And then back straight, lats out, drop it to the side, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, loose. Oh. Drop, 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 loose, there we go. Back straight, drop it to the side, more, 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 more. Oh, my goodness. You can't manipulate it in cold. When it's cold, you can't manipulate it. 
because it'd be too sore. So what we do, we strain it. Here we go. Lean back into me. There we go. Put your arms in front of you. Beautiful. Look up. Arm to the side. Head up. There. Now just pull, 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 pull. Right, double bicep from there. Head up. There. Arms down. There. Power waters. And you see some of the images that they have. So it's crazy. It's crazy. And then, unfortunately, don't get repaired because the doctors, I mean, they, they're not so sympathetic towards them. They say, oh, you train, you're on the gear. Thank you very much. Ibuprofen is not going to help you. See you later. Yeah. You know, so the guys don't want to hear that. So when they come to see me, then you can you have a little glimpse of what we tend to do. Oh. And this is just, as I said, I'm taking it easy because he's got a bit of a neck issue here. So now we're actually treating the whiplash injury that Paul sustained in a rear shunt. Oh. There we go, beautiful. Ah, oh. there we go. How can you see the neck? is being twisted around and that is trying to take the pressure back and balance oh. all that. Oh. A lot of people when they're working, they forget that their occupations become their basic basic lifestyles. They overlock their bodies because they become functionally imbalanced. Yeah. So what this we're doing here oh. is trying to balance pull out. There we go. Oh. That's, oh. Where, that's where he should be. Oh. There. Much better. You can actually see the difference. Wow. The rear delts have kicked in. Um, epic. Now from there, very simply, just hold it there and just go into bicep position. Just go up. Beautiful. Spread and just slowly, gently bicep curl and hold and push down tight. Beautiful. Much, much better. Much better. You can actually see. Beautiful. And that's what we did. We've actually worked on these muscles here and pulled that back and arms down again and just relax. So uh, with posing, it's uh, quite interesting to have somebody's second opinion, even with the experience that, that I've got. Also, people get into bad habits as well of holding their breath when they're tensing and such like. Uh, so it's nice to have a different aspect when I go along to this guy um, to kind of show his opinion on how you should be posing and you take that on board also within the treatment it's um it's really good because one i couldn't do a lat spread without any pain and after the therapy i could so he's also checking that your body is real light properly as well so uh you know it's great to have that second opinion i don't think it matters how much experience you've got yeah, of course, everybody goes into uh, competition mode when they're on stage, but sometimes it's nice to be picked up now and then on some of the habits that you, you kind of pick up, that, that you, you, you still make slight mistakes with. So that's the worry now. That's now calmed down, because that was so enough. Right. And when you watch the videos, you'll see, because it's brilliant, because you actually see how much it was so enough before and afterwards, if you have time, if you have time, because it's puffed. And that's because it was inflamed. Yeah. So you've had an injury. Yeah. A bit of a knock of the car. It could not only be the neck, it could also be the lower back. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. Depending on the position. Over here. Fuller. Now face this way. Straight ahead. Head up. There. Now. That spread. Yeah. And even from that pose, you can see the biceps are much fuller. They're just fuller flat. Now relax. And just have a few seconds relax there. Yeah. That's perfect. Now take your arms up and keep there, no tension in the face, and slowly just peek up the biceps like an Egyptian. Open the hand the other way, open your hands that way, that way. Oh, this way. Yeah, yeah sorry, yeah. And straight away you can see the biceps, what we've just done. They're much fuller. Now, from that position, put your hands the other way. Well, that way. The other way. Normal. See, that's one position. The myth. Yeah, that's the myth, Sergio. Now, do the proper shape. Watch. Yeah. Now, you lose sides. How strange is that? Now, hold it there. There. So, people bespoke to you for the fuller insurgents, that's where you should be because you have a fuller arm. Now, from there, don't move anything else. Just turn the hand inwards. 
there. See, the bicep peak goes up a lot, a little bit better. Now, lean back. Now, take the arms higher and peak them up from here. There. And show them that way. That's an angle. There. Up. Now. Again, it's a different position. So all those three different positions. So if they get the posing wrong on the day, they're not able to see it. So the judges can't judge. And the guy says, well, I've done four plates. I've done six plates. And he says, yeah, but oh, at the end of the day, the trophy doesn't count. Can you see? So that's why it's with Paul. A great frame, but it's just as we said, where the weaknesses are, that's why, like the heavy squat, with due respect, because when you're squatting, you're doing the lower back and there's yeah. an injury. Yeah. So that's why we have to bespoke the treatment to pull. Double bicep again, head up. Yeah, beautiful. Now spread the lats as well there. Yeah. Straight away, you can see the bicep insertion different. Now from there, turn the hands the other way around. There. It's a different frame. Look at the forearm kicking. Now, Peek it this way. Walk like an Egyptian. Look at that. Look at the biceps now. How crazy is that? The bicep. Okay, so that was the therapy session. Definitely uh, no pain, no gain in action because that is very painful with the EMS machine. Um, I've never been to uh, any other therapist or osteopath that's offered that type of treatment. It works. I don't know ever analyze why it works, but it works. A lot of people I know go to him and uh, from so kind of three days after onwards, you start to improve again. And uh, yeah, it went well. He's done the work on the knee and the back and uh, it, keeps, it keeps you training. It's all good. Okay, so we've had some really bad news. The plan for this year was gonna be two warm-up shows in England and then to fly out to Barbados to the IMBF Mr. Universe and then come back, do another two shows in England and go out to the Worlds at the end of the year. But unfortunately, I've had an email to say that the Mr. Universe has been cancelled. So I now am um, going to just concentrate on the Worlds. So we're going to halt the video diaries until August. I'm going to start doing them again in August. Um, and show you my running into the world with my diet and the different aspects as we get closer. For me personally, to put myself through the regime you need to, I, uh, I need that big show for that inspiration to really you know, get my head down and get on with it. Just nothing wrong with local shows at all, but I've done so many of them over the years, really, it's got to be a big show now for me to really want to do it. So. Uh, so it's all about the world later in the year and uh, we'll pick it back up in August.